Hello, and welcome to this video, which I'm calling Being Effective Quick Tips. Now, I want to share with you a tip that I've discovered for this wonderful application, Todoist. Now, it's not my tip. I found it on Reddit the other day, and it was posted by a Reddit user called uh, Jolly, Jolie, um, something like that. And um, this is their tip, but I'm sharing it um, because I think it's amazing and it is really helpful. It's how to have custom headings on your filters. So you can see here, this is a filter that I've created. Uh, it's set up using uh, Carl Pauline's 2 plus 8 prioritization system. I've called it Focus for today. You can see I've got two objectives, which I've um, flagged red, priority one. I've got four tasks for the morning, which I've flagged uh, orange priority two and then fourth of the afternoon which are blue and the way in which I've set this filter up is if you come in here you'll see I've just got today in p1 comma today in p2 comma today in p3 and that gives this but one of the things that's always bugged me a little bit with filters in Todoist is you cannot that the headings don't necessarily make sense now obviously because I've called these tasks objectives morning an afternoon it's obvious what they represent but if they were just normal tasks these headings are all the same and I it's not obvious what they mean but what this uh, reddit user has discovered is that you can actually manipulate these and I'm going to show you how to do that right now now I'll do it on this first one with the objectives so if I write in hashtag objective and then as long as objective isn't one of my projects, because if it was a project down here, then the hashtag would filter by that. But as long as it's not a project, it's fine. So I'm putting in hashtag objective, and then I'm putting in a lot of spaces. But what I'm going to do first is I'm going to put uh, this little, I don't know what that's called, but it's uh, um, it's like a, it's not a capital I. It's got a name, I don't know what it is. And then I'm going to put the filter in brackets like this. And already you can see down here in the preview that it's changed the heading. Now, if I put in a lot of spaces here, then what is eventually going to happen is that filter bit is going to disappear. Because uh, the way that it renders the filters, it cuts that out. So if I now click save, you can see that my top section has the heading hashtag, hashtag objective. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make that objectives and then I'm going to copy that because that's the right number of spaces. And I'm going to put it in here and I'm going to change that to hashtag morning. And then I'm going to put that in brackets as well. And then here I'm going to put in that again and change that to hashtag afternoon. And then I'm also going to put this uh, in brackets. And then what you'll see is when I save it, I have it split into three sections with the correct heading for the section objectives, morning and afternoon. And I just think that's an amazing thing to do to just tidy up the filters a little bit and make those headings for the different sections of the filter a little bit more helpful. And that's something that I would recommend that you try as well. Incidentally, if you didn't know, if you want to break up your heading into different, your filter, sorry, into different sections, then putting this comma in, uh, your will have your first bit being this first filter and then the next bit will be the next filter and so on and so on and it will split it up that way. Now obviously this gets lost if I decide to group it by priority uh, or if I decide to group it by well there are no labels but you get the idea but if I group it by the default then you get those headings in. So try it out, play around with it, see what you can come up with. I think this is amazing, it's really helpful and it's the little things like this that just make uh, 
these kind of filters and applications so much more helpful for me personally. Just having these headings really, really does help. Thank you very much for watching. Please like the video if you like it and share it if you think other people would find this useful. And check out my other videos on Upnote and building an effective productivity system. And we'll see you on the next video.